Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry, and welcome to Undaunt. So it's a new mobile survival game with impressive graphics. In this game, you can chop down trees, you can mine iron, basically anything you can do in a survival game. And somewhere over here, we have a notice board. So let's touch it, and here we can start doing some sort of tasks. For example, we have this please help me task. My friend has gone missing. Yesterday, he said he was going to look out for batteries near the logging camp, but he never came back. I'm really worried. Can anyone help me find them? Let's accept that task. Okay, so it looks like we have to go all the way over there to find the missing person. So we gotta go all the way that way. So it's somewhere in the Redwood Outpost and somewhere here. There's that logging camp. I guess we could get there just by our motorcycle. So let's call that thing and let's go to that logging camp. I have never been there. And hey, while we are driving to that logging camp, smash that like button on the video if you'd like to see more on Dawn videos. And we have arrived. There we go. That's gotta be the logging camp. I mean, just check this out. It looks like a logging camp. There are lots of logs. So it's gotta be the logging camp. Okay, let's slash this thing and let's begin this quest. All right, there's no sign of human activity around here. Okay, so maybe we have to go a little bit deeper and who knows, maybe even today we'll craft a new weapon because this is only a level 10 rifle. I think we can craft a level 20 rifle, except for that I think I needed to get some more iron, I needed to get some more resources, but they are pretty easy to get, so I think today we might actually get them. Wait, there are some zombies. Is that a zombie or is that a human being? Why is the human being just standing here? This is so weird, there's a human being and there are literally zombies in front of that dude. It makes no sense, I don't get it. Whatever, let's deal with these guys. Okay, so we have to now go over here. We'll have to look around in this spot. A backpack, could it belong to Vincent's friend? I didn't see any backpacks here. But okay, let's assume we just found a backpack here. There we go, there's a backpack, that's the backpack. Let's search it. Perhaps there's something inside, something useful. I see footprints, looks like this person's injured. So we can scout even. Oh, very interesting. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Find the missing person. Is that the missing person? Probably. Missing guard. Maybe we just found the- Oh, well, we just got attacked by another dude. Okay, so we've gotten here a solar battery. I'm sorry it was too late. That's it. So we have done that quest probably. So now we have to return to the Redwood Outpost and give the battery to Vincent. Wait, before we go there, how about I go to that logging camp? So we can probably finish that quest. We can probably get some experience. But we are already here and it looks like this is some sort of a location. I'm still not really 100% sure how Undone works. But it looks like this place has a lot of other like locations to loot. So you can clear those places. And I've never cleared a location on my own. I usually just joined a team or I went there because a task wanted me to go there but how about i just go into this logging camp there we go let's begin here we can get 850 silver what if we do these quests on harder difficulties okay so you can just get more silver basically and that is it so let's begin this that's it enter the stronghold okay something happened somebody started talking but we can't hear anything well we just got to be careful that is it let's begin this quest house to the left see if we can spot any traces of other survivors okay so Whatever, I'm not really sure what we have to do here. Probably like find survivors or oh, no. kill zombies That's or something. A lot of zombies. I only see one zombie. I only see one zombie. Don't see more of them. Okay, there's one oh, of God. the survivors probably it looks dead. Like the others escaped this way. Yep, got everything. Say so, this is the first location that I that I'm clearing here on my own. Because as I said, usually I'd follow a story mission or something. But Another here I just one. found it. And we there's are clearing it. Up ahead. Hopefully we can find something there. Yep. Oh, somebody's here. Okay, we will find. Destroy the zombies blocking the road. Okay, that's what we will do. Are you here for me? I'm on the rooftop. Okay, I see you. I see you, mate. You're literally over there. We just saved that dude. Warehouse. I need to get through the area ahead as quickly as possible. All right, I think I can just probably jump down. It tells me to go that way, but how about I just go over here, huh? How about that? How about I don't follow those arrows? How about I do what I want to do? And these zombies seem very, very simple. Also, it doesn't really look like we get experience for that because we need to be level 25 to progress further through the story missions. And I don't really know if we get any experience for this quest. Wait, let's quickly check it out. So currently we have 7,070 experience and we are level 22. Let's get here. Instead of experience here, we get silver and we also get like some sort of energy points or whatever. I'm still not sure what we do with those energy Daniel? points. Are you okay? That is it. Now we have to survive another zombie attack. Daniel is over there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. How about I dodge that? There we go. That's pretty good. Can I drop the grenade? Probably did nothing. Corruptor dead. Let's quickly reload. Goodbye. I said, now we have to check on Daniel. Hey, Daniel, I did it. I killed the zombies. Are you still alive? Daniel, are you all right? Beat and I know it. Forget about me. 
get out of here. You okay. Can't give up now. Everyone's waiting for you. We need your logs, mate. <laughs> Everyone's waiting for your logs. Bombs. Hurry. I haven't got long. Kane and Sherry were right to trust you. The future of the outpost is in your hands. Okay. You don't have to sacrifice yourself. You could have just thrown that grenade there and that's it. This is one of those sacrifices, like in movies and also in games, apparently now. I fought. A useless sacrifice. You could have just thrown that grenade. You didn't have to die like that. It made no sense. That sacrifice made absolutely zero sense. Well, whatever. That was his choice. We did it. Now we have to escape the main warehouse, apparently. The guy just died. Well, there's a fallen survivor. We've gotten uh, a first aid kit. Plus, we've gotten some bullet casings. But these bullet casings are pretty cheap to get. You can buy them. You can buy 500 bullet casings for, like, what, a thousand, maybe? Silver? I don't know if that's a lot or that's not a lot. Well, that is it. We've just done it. We've gotten some talent points. Can be used to upgrade talents and skills. That's what we've gotten. Plus, we've gotten 850 silver. But I don't think we have gotten here any experience for clearing this logging camp. We had 70, 70 experience, and we still have 7,070 experience. Well, whatever. Let's continue doing the other task here. Let's go to the Redwood Outpost. Let's tell that person that we have found his missing friend, and we found the battery there. And then let's start doing tasks that actually give us experience instead of silver, because I think we have a decent amount of silver, but we need more experience to reach level 25. I found his body. Zombies got to him first. I'm sorry. That is it. Did we get something? I got one out of five things region progression did i get any points though still nothing well i think it's a lot better if we do these quests because we can get here a decent amount of experience so let's try to do the settlement mission okay, so we have to get all the way to ross chemicals factory now and there we'll have to destroy ravers and collect gasoline tanks okay so this is the chemical factory and it looks like there are just enemies but that is it it doesn't really look like i have to wear here any gas masks okay let's reload the weapon and will they attack me first i will attack them first i'll open fire Okay, let's get one of them. Another one of them. Okay. All right, we got it. We still have some ammunition. We have 300 bullets. I'm sure I have another box of bullets, though. Okay, let's deal with that, dude. Can I destroy these barrels? Nope. I thought maybe I can explode them. Apparently, those enemies don't even see me. That's it. We need to destroy more of those ravers or whatever they're called. There's one more enemy left. This dude, goodbye. That's it. We got five of them. And soon we'll get 5k experience. Now we need to get gasoline. Not 5k, but actually 9k experience. That will be a lot of experience for us. Okay, let's go over here. Oh no, more of them. Hello, mister? Okay, one of them. Another one of them. Well, luckily they don't do anything. They don't hear gunshots. Okay, this... Okay, this dude had a shotty though. I have to go somewhere here. Okay, there we go. There's another gas canister. Let's pick that stuff up. There's got to be a third one somewhere. Over here. There we go. Let's pick it up. And I don't think I have to do anything else. Unless I'm wrong. That's it. Mission completed. Okay, so it looks like we are continuing with this quest. Now we have to go and destroy the zombies and recover weapons. Okay, so let's call the bike and let's go there. It's 660 meters away from us. There is a little bit of iron here. And as I said, we might need that iron to craft a level 20 weapon. And I totally want it. So let's mine these stones here. Because by mining these stones, we have a chance of getting iron. That is it. That's the lake town, apparently. Well, I'm going to leave from the bike. I don't even know if we have to repair it or not. I think there is the health bar in that bike probably okay that's it so that's one of the five zombies this is gonna be an easy task okay let's get this dude i'm sure there is a better scope so who knows perhaps we'll get like a six time scope and we'll be able to deal with these zombies even easier but all that stuff in the future our goal now to get 9k experience to level up go back to the base cook some food perhaps craft a level 20 rifle but at the same time, I'm thinking maybe I should wait until we craft a level 30 rifle. Maybe level 20 rifle is going to be just fine. We could also do that. Okay, there we go. There's a firearm. We have to find some more firearms. We have to do it. We have to recover these lost weapons. There we go. Another weapon. We need to find three more weapons. Okay, there we go. We found one more firearm. We need to find two more of them. There we go. Fourth one. And I think over here is the fifth firearm, but I need to find more zombies. So let's deal with the zombies here. This place is pretty... Everything looks kind of awesome here. Okay. Got him. I think that is it. We have finished the quest. Your character level is at max. Go to the homestead to increase your homestead level. Oh, wait, what? I'm at level 25 now. We've got a 9k experience. That's it. Your homestead level is still low, which means you won't be able to increase your level any further. Please increase your homestead level as soon as possible. Okay, so I see how it works. Basically, you have your base. Homestead is basically your base. You increase your base level... And then you can level up further here as well. Okay, I 
probably like that. It's another interesting feature. Okay, so let's probably go back to my outpost homestead. Let's try to upgrade our base. So for those who do not know, this is where we live. I haven't even started upgrading the base. This is our shack that I live in. But let's try to upgrade the homestead. Let's see what kind of resources we need to even upgrade it to the third level. So we basically need 10 of these sheet materials and five clay bricks. Okay, let's try to remember that. And let's see how we build those things here. But before we do that, let's try to cook something. Because we have some food here. So let's go to our grill. What if I cook meat with fruits? Is that how you unlock recipes? Yes, indeed. Meat fruits. Okay, that's cool. Cooking is pretty simple here. All you have to do is just click a few buttons. It's fast. I like it. Now, let's open up our backpack and let's eat some of the stuff that we've just gotten here. There we go. Let's pop it. Finally, my character is not going to be starving. Okay, there's this construction workbench. So we need clay bricks. We also need to find clay. I have no idea where does one get clay. So we could get it in a building shop. Oh, there we go. We can buy clay here. So how about we buy, I don't know, maybe 20 of that clay? Why wouldn't we buy it? We're going to pay 400 silver for that. That's it. We're back here. We have enough resources. I can craft five of these sheet materials. Let's craft those and let's upgrade our base to level three. Finally, we'll be able to level up even further. I think we have enough materials. I don't know if we needed anything else. I think that is it. Let's go to upgrading and that is it. We have everything. So let's upgrade that. And we are at level 26 now. I can't start upgrading it. I just need 20 of these sheet materials and 20 clay bricks and then I'll be able to get to a higher level. Okay, understandable. Not that hard. So I wanted to start working perhaps on a level 20 rifle, but we are already at level 26 and so far everything's all right with our level 10 rifles. So how about maybe we craft a better rifle at level 30 instead of wasting our resources on a level 20 rifle. So let's talk to Kane because now we have unlocked new missions as we are level 25. That's it. We've gotten another quest. It looks like we have to get now to this helicopter and we will go and save some of the survivors. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. But hey, there we go. We are flying now to another place <laughs> we got here. So it looks like we have to talk to a doctor here. Sherry, she will help those survivors with medicine and other stuff. And I'm sure we will have to fight some enemies before she gets to those survivors. Apparently we just talked to Sherry and we have to bandage the wounded people. Okay, let's start helping them out. I have no idea why she not helping them out, but hey, I'll help them out. I'll do it. I have some bandages. I don't really know if I'm using my own bandages. Maybe I am. Whatever, I have some of them, so I will use them. Look at this. All these people are just standing around and doing nothing. Just help these people. Do something, be useful. Be like me. And yet they're doing nothing. They're just chilling. Look at this, this doctor. Dr. Michael could have helped this guy, right? Could have banished him. Nope, I have to banish that dude. Now I am Dr. Michael. Dr. Cyric. Sounds pretty good. Dr. Cyric. Okay, so now we have to set up a tent over here. Let's do it. I've never done that before. Oh, that's it. We just have to click F. I thought maybe they'll teach us how to open up another inventory or something. Like some sort of a building menu. That is it. We've just set up both of these tents. And now we have to go to the healthcare zone and ask Dawson what he's been up to. Okay, so we've just spoken to some three people. We've gotten like some random information. Now the game wants me to go and rest. Okay, let's rest up. At midnight, people are woken up by some screams. Understandable. Let's see what those screams are all about. Oh, whoa, they're here. I didn't expect that. Whoa, I thought that these are my people. I didn't expect them to shoot just like that. Whoa. Whoa. Didn't expect that at all. Let's do it. I got one. I've got another one of them. I need to probably heal up a little bit. I have only 93 health. Well, hopefully that thing can restore uh, my health and a sound, right? Hopefully I can restore my own health. I just came out of here. I didn't expect to see them here. I thought I'll have to go somewhere and fight them outside, but they were already here. Well, I got all of the Reavers. Take out Elite Reavers. Okay, there's got to be one more Elite Reavers somewhere. Oh, there we go. There you are. Schmuck! Sleep peacefully. There we go. Or you might not sleep peacefully. I don't care. Couldn't care less. Okay, how about we get something else? There we go. Let's get that military bandage and let's try to bandage our wounds. Right, we had 97 health and now we have almost full health. There we go. That's good. That's good. Let's try to help out they the retreat. people now. Some of them were captured. You have to save them. So it looks like we have to start rescuing those hostages. We have to go to the river lookout northeast of the Redwood outpost. Uh, sounds like 
a good plan. I mean, we can just call the motorcycle and that's it. Okay, so there we go. We have arrived. Let's leave the bike and let's see what this place is all about. I'm sure we'll save those survivors. We gotta save them. Because if we don't save them, who will save them? We've gotten 500 experience. Talk to the Reaver member in the Reaver lookout. I have to talk to them? I don't have to fight them? Oh, they're, they're just gonna actually attack me, so I don't have to talk to them. Oh, take out! It says take out the Reaver member. I have no idea why I thought it said talk to the Reaver member. I'm an idiot. It says to take them out. I was like, why would I have to talk to them? I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so there are two more schmucks left somewhere. I have to go outside. Probably get inside, though. Instead of going outside. Okay, there's Maurice. Die, schmuck! Okay, these, this dude is tanking bullets like crazy. That was like one of probably the stronger enemies that I had to fight here. Oh, that's so we can now save those people here. Here to save us? Yes. I saw you killed Maurice. Okay, so we've gotten another task. So we've just saved a bunch of those people there. And now Sherry left to save some other people without consulting with anyone else. So we kind of have to go there now and save other people and Sherry as well. Understandable. Have a nice day. That's what we will do. Let's leave the bike. Oh, that's it. The bike's going without me. Oh, we are back here in this pretty place. How do I even see those footprints? What kind of eyes do I have? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can talk to this Redwood Sentry then. Us? I didn't expect to see you here. You're like a rock star. Whoa. Uh, can I get your autograph? <laughs> whoa. whoa, whoa, that's too much, man. That is actually too much. That is actually too much, man. Okay, so apparently we found Sherry. She's fine, but we need more medical supplies to help out these poor bastards. So let's do it. We can find more medical supplies over there. She marked those supplies on the map. So how about we take here a few shortcuts and how about we get into that building and how about we get those medical supplies? I could just take those medical supplies for myself and that's it. But as you saw yourself, there are people now asking for autographs. So I'm an upstanding citizen here. I can't steal those medical supplies. I prefer exploration tokens over there. Check what's in the okay. medical supplies. Let's you get need. everything. Level 27 already. That's great. I am just curious, can we even reach level 30 today? And if we can, is it going to be easy to craft a level 30 rifle? Because I think I should craft a level 30 rifle. Even though this level 10 rifle is is fine. It really doesn't feel like we need a better one. Okay, so let's start helping out people. We have to give no, stuff to the doctor. Yes, yeah, so we've just talked to the doc. We've given him some medicine. And now we have to give antibiotics to Sherry. Thank you. Let's give her that stuff. Please, let me show you how to make simple bandages and antibodies. Ooh, I haven't crafted that yet. Let's go craft a simple bandage. So let's craft one simple bandage. All we need is just some plant fiber. So let's craft one simple bandage. I don't think I've ever crafted that. So thanks. Did we get those blueprints just now? And antibodies. Let's craft an antibody. We have special antibody buffer. We have three of those. And we only need two to craft it. Let's get the antibody. Maybe I've given her antibodies, not uh, antibiotics. In any case, the same thing. Potato, patata. Could you help restore the signal tower next? Sure. Been able to contact Let's restore the signal tower towers. I think I've restored some of the signal towers already. All right, so that is it. We are at the very top. Time to repair the signal tower. It doesn't really look like I needed any resources or anything. We can just repair it like that. There we go. We did it. Plus, there's a crate up there. I'm absolutely gonna get that crate. I'm not leaving it. I need all the loot that I can find, even though I'm not sure what most of the loot here does in the game. I only know we need wood and stones to upgrade the base, but I'm gonna get everything I can find. If I'm here, I'll get it. Okay, so Kane just called us on the radio. He informed us that we have to move the patients to another place. So we will go there and do that. But before we do that, how about I open up this crate? Okay, so we can get some exploration tokens. Okay. We also have level one exploration here in this other location in the Saints Hills. So let's upgrade that and let's get the rewards as well. I have no idea what these things even do. Silicon carbide particles. I don't even know what they're used for, but I, I got them. Thank you, apparently. Thank you. So how about we upgrade? So how about we upgrade this decoy bomb? I know if I want it, but I just upgraded it. And our talent level is at level 2. So we can start unlocking new things, perhaps. Now we can lock these Molotovs. Except that is kind of expensive. Let's probably equip Molotovs instead of the decoy bombs, though. So yeah, we have upgraded the character a little bit. Time to get back to Sherry. And let's find a way to bring those survivors back to their camp. Okay, so that's it. Me and Sherry now are going to flee Lake Town. I think we will also fight zombies on our way. Understandable. Have a nice day. We can absolutely do that. Okay, there aren't that many of them. We will get them. Okay, let's get one of these. Oh, no, that's a Lake Town local. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot that. Luckily, 
<laughs> the friendly fire is off. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to shoot you there. You looked like a zombie. You stood there with the zombie. So, of course, I thought you are a zombie. Why wouldn't I think you are a zombie? Hmm? Why wouldn't I think you are one of them? You just blended in so perfectly there. Okay, I don't even know if she's doing anything. Wait, I want to let her shoot a bit. I want to see if she does anything. Go on. Sherry, do your thing. Can you shoot them? Sherry, do something! Whoa. Whoa, this is it. Like, if there was a way to, let's say, add a short video clip, a gif to a dictionary, this would be it. Her being useless. Like, she's she's extremely useless here. She does nothing. Look at this. That's how you deal with zombies. You did nothing. And she's there trying to pretend as she, she's doing something. I think once she even screamed at me, like, hey, I'm not someone random, blah, blah. I can do things. I can do stuff. You can't do anything, Sherry. I also wish zombies gave experience for killing them, though, because it's kind of weird for killing zombies and you don't get anything. It's weird. Makes no sense to kill those zombies. But uh, it is what it is. That's it. We are saving them. And apparently other zombies are chasing us. Hang in there. Just a little more. Have Molotovs. Who's saving us? Oh yeah, I'm saving them. There we go. Look at us. We're destroying all of those zombies. Get to the chopper! I could hear right, Arnold hey, screaming. Just threw a grenade. Bam! We I'll did it. Back to the Ravens first. Be careful, and I'll see you at the outpost. So they just left me here. I wanted to go inside. Did you see that? Like, my character wanted to climb inside of that helicopter, but they're like, I'll see you later. <laughs> I'll see you later. Dude, I'm stuck here. They didn't save me. They didn't do anything. We just received news that Alicia... The woman who used to lead the Reapers was spotted at a house across from Lake Town. If we can work with her, we might be able to get rid of the Reavers for good. Okay, so I'm trying to swim, and I'm swimming here for the first time ever. And the chapter 2 thing, there we go, we have completed chapter 1 in our adventure guide. So we've done all of these quests, so we can now claim the rewards, correct? More wood, that is it, so we have completed this first thing. And here we'll have to do some other quests, like buying 100 stones, etc, etc. So we'll absolutely do that. And we've gotten new gloves. Are they better? Yes, they are better. So let's equip these new gloves. And we have gotten new paints. Let's equip those. Okay, new shoes. They are better. A new hat. It is better. A new jacket. It is better. Finally, we have a better jacket. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, we have a better jacket. Okay, so this is our character now. That is us. Why do I have to wear that razor blade around my neck? But whatever. Well, we are done here with everything. Let's start doing here another quest. We have to go to the house to the other side of the river and uh, search for Alicia. The Reavers are brutal, but I'll do my best. Okay, so we just spoken to her. And now we need to deal with these Reavers. They just spawned out of nowhere. I mean, I can do this. I can feel that they are getting a little bit stronger. And uh, I don't know if I appreciate that. We should get a bit better rifle, perhaps. How about I throw a Molotov at them? There, that was my first Molotov and I missed it. Okay, we got them. How about we go and restore some more ammunition? Let's do it. Okay, so now we have to dive in the lake and locate Alicia's blade around 20 meters in front of the platform. I'm an amazing swimmer. Okay, so we gotta go there. See? Let's go deeper. There we go. That's the blade. We got more experience. We're still only at level 27, though. I thought we would have leveled up by now. Say, so, let's give her the blade that we've gotten. Okay, that is it. We just talked to her, and apparently we got teleported here. So now we have to go to the hillside of the Blackberry and take out the Reaver outpost. So let's do it. I mean, I see some of the enemies. I mean, we might as well just start doing these tasks. I think these enemies are definitely a little bit harder. Because the current weapon that I have here doesn't kill them with like two three bullets as before we used to kill them like with just a few shots so there's that let's get it we have a mine that i don't want but what i do want though is a molotov how about okay that's so we can throw these molotovs i see it okay i missed that molotov i don't have to just tap g i can just hold it and then i can aim better okay understandable have a nice day there we go all of the people are here why there are so many of them that is it something happened we are level 28 take out renner the reavers second in command take out the reaver guard and other reavers okay so they talk to each other and apparently now we have to go and fight them was that dude at level 27 probably level 27 huh i mean getting these headshots is pretty easy does my rifle even have durability i haven't repaired it in a really long time so I don't know how that works. 
Come back, schmuck! I'm here! Where are you looking at? These AI here, the bots, are crazy. Oh, wow. That is a lot of them. Okay, let's throw the molly on them. There we go. That worked a little bit. Did that Molotov damage them a lot? Just a little bit. Ah! Die. There we go. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. But I throw another Molotov. Uh, okay, I cannot throw it yet. We need uh, 17 more seconds. How about I put here a mine? Okay. That's good. Maybe they'll run towards that mine. Hello? I'm gonna run away from there. Will they run towards that mine? Okay, will you step on that mine? Okay, you have gotten a little bit of damage. Well, I expected you to perhaps get more damage. I wasted another Molotov. Hello? Why you're not shooting? Oh, he has a flamethrower. That's why he wasn't shooting. Okay, so we need to kind of heal up a little bit. Do I have any medicine or anything interesting? I have these antibodies. Uh, using it restores 30 health. How about I use that? Goodbye. The there are two more enemies left. It's kind of weird when they die, they still keep talking when they're dead. Really didn't know what they were. Sometimes they talk too much, in my opinion. If you're dead, you're dead. Stop talking. Okay, meanwhile, what's going on here then? They're holding them hostage. Diaz, what's wrong with your powder? Why aren't they dead yet? Powder? What? You, you... Okay, you that's so she poisoned them and they all died. Okay, so now we're gonna go in some sort of a secret base, but what happened there is that woman named Elysia, we had to find her some sort of a special weapon. She poisoned some of the Reaver leaders and Reavers were the bad guys that we kept fighting. And now Elysia is the leader of those Reavers. That's it. Basically, that's what happened there. There was a lot of mumbo jumbo, but that was the long story short. And now let's go into the secret base. Apparently they're letting me in here. I wanna know what this place is all about. You can get Pepsi here. Welcome to the Raven Secret Base. This is Raven a Secret set up Base, especially for elites. Here, there are different areas with different functions. So Have she it. said that only elites get to be here. I mean, what about other survivors? So they have this entire awesome shelter for their elites, but normal people, the loggers that basically keep this camp alive, they don't even get to be here. I mean, that's kind of sad, right? If you're the elite here, you get to have a nice camp. You get to have this pool table, but other people, nah, nah, they'll just keep chopping down wood up there. Okay. I think I speak for everyone in the Raven squad when I say, welcome to our ranks. Okay, so now we'll go to some sort of a secret laboratory because apparently zombies are evolving or something. What are they doing here? What are they experimenting? on Dr. Sean and there go dialogues are gone again okay so we've just visited the secret laboratory and we've learned that hey they're working here on those special zombies they're doing research on them and now we have to leave this underground base okay and to progress even further we have to reach level 30 okay so now we have to do some sort of an outpost commission quest and for that we'll be able to get 9k experience so let's do it okay so we've started a quest here we have to get wood to buy a Okay, let's do it. So maybe we won't have to fight zombies, but we will just have to work here. We will have to bring wood from one place to another place. We'll have to perhaps move some rocks. I don't even probably have to do anything, but maybe the more we do, the more points we get here. Maybe the better the rewards will be. I have no idea how that works, so I'll try to be useful. Okay, so they just brought two more pieces of wood. Okay, so now we have to go to the tower where the movement was detected. Let's go that way. How many people are working with us? I see only two of them. Okay, there is... Uh, yeah, there are only three of us. There aren't four people. There are only three of us. Okay, let's get the rifles. Let's deal with some of these zombies. I want to output as much damage as I can. I don't know if we get better rewards, but I, I'll do it. Another zombie. That's it. There's got to be one more zombie somewhere. There we go. He got all of them. Okay, repel the zombies coming down from the hill. I mean, these tasks are so easy. You do these tasks and you level up like crazy. These, like, basically daily missions or something give you more experience than main missions. Okay, let's get some more ammunition real quick. Okay, that's it. Yo, homestead is too low level. I can't level up to a higher level. Okay, that's it. We have got a 9k experience and now we need to upgrade our homestead. Okay, I don't think we are done with the event yet. Maybe we haven't got a 9k experience. We have gotten just some experience, but that's not enough as the quest is not over yet. Okay, let's start doing this. Someone is cracking the password. Okay, so they've just opened up that safe without me. We've gotten another quest to go to and search the hillside for clues. Okay, so there are four of us, not only three of us. There go. There's the fourth dude. Understandable. There's an axe. This is Cook's axe. He must be near. Oh, wow. These wolves are pretty strong. Level 30 wolfos. Those are infected wolfos, though. That is it. We've just dealt with four wolfos. And now we have to talk to Cook. 
Cokes has got to be somewhere here. That is it. Mission complete. I've gotten 1,250 more experience. And that is it. I think the quest is over now. I don't think there's anything else we can do. So let's leave the team. Sign our schmucks. I don't want to be here with you anymore. And that is it. We've just leveled up so we can be level 30. We just got to get back to the base and level up our homestead. We are back at the base. Let's craft a new station here. This mechanic station. How about we place this mechanic station? I don't even know where here. There we go. Why wouldn't I place it here? Seems good enough. So we can learn a new bike, apparently. Vehicle crafting. So we can craft here a new bike. We can craft a car. Understandable. Have a nice day. So I wanted to craft a better axe and a better pickaxe, but apparently you unlock that stuff at level 30. So how about we upgrade our base? I've already crafted here some of the bricks. We have 10 bricks. We just need 12 more sheets of material. Let's do it. So let's craft everything we can craft here and let's upgrade our base now to level four. So we just upgraded the base twice. From level 20 something today, from level 23, we've gotten to level 30 just in one day. Let's upgrade now our, our homestead. We did it. New system unlocked. Unlock new weapons for all new experience. Okay. And there we go. There's that logging tool. We can unlock it. There we go. I think we can also need to learn this miner tool as well. There we go. Let's unlock that. So now we can finally craft a level to axe. I am excited about that. So there we go. This level to axe is pretty cheap. All we need for it is just some wood and some stones. So let's craft it. And that's it. I've just equipped level two pickaxes and axes. I want to know how much wood we can get, let's say, from this tree. Is it faster? 1538. I guess we're getting the same amount of wood. I thought it'll be faster, but I don't really feel the difference. We are getting more maybe cedar barks, but I don't know. Still seems kind of the same, even with this level to X. And now to build these better weapons, to build level 30 guns, we will require here lots of and lots of resources. We will require to start getting these ash branches. We need to get ash wood. We also need to get these iron alloys. So it looks like there are lots of resources that we need to get in order to build those level 30 weapons. So hey, if you want me to progress further and continue with Undawn, let me know that in the comments down below and smash the like button on the video. And make sure to subscribe to not miss those future on Dawn videos and a highly suggest you check out my dead island to let's blur click on the second card and my resident evil 4 let's blur hop over to my channel go to playlist and they'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to jump subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep